Hello. My name is Barbara Quinn, and I'm happy to be here to announce the commitment of the HAPPY Project, which stands for Hospital Acquired Pneumonia Prevention Initiative, and also for a call to action for all types of hospitals. HAPPY was first started as a project by one hospital, Sutter Medical Center in Sacramento, California, as now has grown to a multi-site national replication study. Whereas acute care hospitals are, are required to report ventilator-associated pneumonia, or VAP, we like to call it, there are no requirements to prevent or report any other type of pneumonia that is acquired in the hospital. Therefore, most hospitals have no idea how prevalent non-ventilator-associated hospital-acquired pneumonia is, nor are there efforts to prevent it. Our research has shown that NVHAP, we like to call that non-ventilator hospital-acquired pneumonia, is many times more, um, more prevalent than VAP and costing many more patient lives. So tonight, our commitment is focused on prevention of NVHAP in acute care hospitals by implementing standardized oral care protocols and best practice for all patients in the hospital, not just those on a ventilator. Our goal is that standards will be set for all hospitals to monitor and prevent NVHAP. Our initial commitment represents 23 hospitals across the United States who have already committed the implementation and prevention of NVHAP at their respective hospitals. Our outreach and dissemination is ongoing. That's one of the reasons that we're here tonight. We will complete the intervention phase of the HAPPY study by the end of June in 2017. In our first study, we were able to decrease non-ventilator hospital-acquired pneumonia by 70% by implementing standard oral care for every patient. <laughs> we do not yet have our final data from our HAPPY study that we're doing right now to report to you tonight. But based on preliminary findings, based on our 2012 Healthcare Utilization Project HCUP National Inpatient Sample, that's a mouthful, and also the CDC National Discharge data, we are going to make the following prediction for you. With appropriate intervention to prevent NVHAP by even 50% in the United States, approximately 53,000 lives, 170,000 extra hospital days, and $3.4 billion will be saved. Thank you.